yourself down and you're the only man standing in your way and then you probably say you're drinking yourself drown but don't you know it's your body that will pay and i could say that you're crazy and a liar too but in the back of my mind i know the truth i've had it fanatic i'm basically an addict pulling apart my heart it's problematic yeah. Try to dream it all, dream it all away. Well, I could say live or die. I can only say that I'll try. Well, I could say life or death. But I know it'd be a waste of breath. Deep in my blood, beating all through love. Hello, folks. Jesus. Gotta get out there. Just spent half an hour spraying more varnish all over the bar top and all the stools and not stools tables you know what i mean so uh we'll leave that to dry that was the second coat actually and we'll shoot across here and see what froggy's up to five o'clock chaps froggy's gone home he's actually doing a double shift today i don't know how he does it he's going to be working the pub this evening so he went at four o'clock ish to get showered and he'd be back down for six bless him he's a workhorse i swear so what i'm doing uh while i'm waiting for some glue to dry that's going to be the freaking keg bar that's where the taps are going to live and in the post today, when I can find it, came this. That's going to be the drip tray 
so I have to actually make a tray for it to sit in a little bit like this Froggy was going to make it but he didn't have time so I sort of sketched it up on the table so it's going to sit into a piece of timber just like that with the drip tray bit sitting on the top there if you get my drift so I'm in the process of cutting out the pieces of stainless to make the tray you sort of get the idea that's one end this will be the other end and in betwixt will be this steel to make up the actual tray itself proper like so I'm gonna tack this together and tick it up I'm still here it's quarter past seven we've got the trough pretty much tacked together I'm just now working on welding it up this is what we have so far it looks really quite good actually when the stainless steel slotted sheet is on the top to make the uh, to make the drip tray so I'm just probably gonna finish welding this up shouldn't take me too long uh, not too bad I might be a little bit out of practice but uh, are you come to stay the night no. You've got your jammers on, I thought you're sleeping in here. No. You look like a right little scruff bag. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> Shall I go then? Are we ready to go home? Yeah. Yes, she says. Jesus. <laughs> hey, where are we, Gem? In the good beer guide. We're in the good beer guide. Chancy. Check that out. So we've got the uh, drip tray. Chancy. If you look down it, it's not too bad. But I put a heck of a lot of heat into it. Abby, that's hot, darling. Abby, move away. I put a heck of a lot of heat into the stainless and it, I, I just didn't even think I was welding away. I stood up, it was bent like a freaking banana. So, in order to remedy that, I've put some, oh, I zoomed right in on my face then. I've put some uh, relief slits to take the pressure out and then I've just belt, bent it back into place. So hopefully that should cure any warpage that we've got. Here we go, Abs. Let's have a look. Has it not got a name on it then? No, not on that. Oh. Well, at least we're in it, aren't we, Chickadee? <laughs> right, I'll turn my gas off. And hopefully I'm not zoomed right in onto my old facade this time. And then we'll get ready for the home because I'm exhausted, man. And uh, yeah, we will see you tomorrow. I got a whole lot of pain to drink out of me. Ah!